Coach, um, new surroundings for you, and I know you've been at it for a little bit now. Tell me a little bit about your, your early goings here in Knoxville. I, you know, Knoxville's been super welcoming. The Heart of Valley community's been unbelievable. Uh, you know, my wife is, is basically coming back home, so we got a lot of friends. I looked over at practice the other day, and I had guys that I played college ball with standing on the fence line watching us practice. So it's been unbelievable to be back home and just be – with family, so um, it's been really good. Our kids are, are busting their tail, they're getting better every day. We have a lot of work 100%, but the guys have bought in to you know, our core values and what we're gonna hold them to. Um, and they're doing a good job getting better as we go. What do you feel like people are gonna notice right off the bat with Hard Valley this year, as opposed to what they used to run? Well, I think offensively we're going to be – it's going to be a lot different. Um, you know, we're, they were under center, wing T, traditional. Um, we're going to be more up-tempo, spread out. Um, you know, we want to we want to tag some things to, to the quarterback, give him some options, some opportunities to, to throw the football down the field and make some plays. Um, so that's going to look a lot different. Um, it's going to be a growth process. You know, when any time you're, you're steering that shift, it, it, it don't turn on a dime. So um, I think that's going to be the big thing is it's going to take some time to, to get the offense going. But, um, you yeah, know, I think – we're going to look completely different from, a, from an offensive standpoint. From, you know, while we're talking about the offense, here are maybe some guys that we should kind of get to know at this point that are going to be doing big things for you guys offensively. All right, I'm going to, I'm going to mention that these guys are not going to get any credit. Ain't nobody going to put them in the paper. They're not going to have their picture anywhere. Evan Clark, Neil Henley, two senior offensive linemen um, that have – fully bought into what we're doing as a program, and they really anchor us up front. Um, Evans, our center, Neil is a guard. Um, those two guys are, are going to be you know, kind of the unsung hero all year. So it's an opportunity for me to, mm -hmm. hey, those are the guys. Now, um, we got Isaac Shelby, who's another senior who's going to play out wide. Baron Sheets is another senior who's going to play out wide. Um, so those guys are, you know, of course, Hopefully they're the ones getting their names in the paper, but those unsung heroes are those guys up front, uh, especially those two seniors who do a tremendous job. I know Barron a lot from the basketball court. Yeah. And, and have you seen skills that can kind of transition from basketball to football that makes him valuable? Yeah, 100%. I mean, we want to get athletes on the field. We want to get athletes the ball in space. He's got it, can make some plays, he can do some things. We also got Bryson Fry out who played basketball yeah. last year. And, um, we had Isaac Ratliff. Um, he actually had a, had a bad car accident, but he's still out there supporting our guys. And um, You know, wish we had him, but um, at least he's been a good teammate about it, and that's that's the good thing from it is our kids have gotten to see kind of the resiliency aspect of what we stand for as a program. And he's he's doing that, um, but yeah, anytime you got basketball kids, you got baseball kids. I think guys that play multiple sports are better at football. Just mm -hmm. one hundred percent. I think that the skills that you learn in other sports are gonna make you a better football player. Just like I think the skills you learn in football are gonna make you better in other places. Um, so I try to push that as hard as I possibly can to our guys and try to get as many of those guys who do multiple things on the field. I think we talked about this when you got hired, but coming from the Georgia ranks and seeing that talent down there and, and how big games are on Friday nights, and, and then you come into this region that Hardin Valley's in, uh, how do you feel like that's all kind of prepared you so that you're not shell-shocked by it? Yeah, I think, um, you know, I was fortunate enough – My just this past year to be in probably one of the toughest high school regions in America. So, uh, whereas I do think this is probably the toughest or at least one of the toughest regions in all of Tennessee. Uh, so we're, we kind of are, are used to it, right? Mm -hmm. um, and so it'll be a great opportunity, great test for our kids. Uh, they know more about it than I do. So, um, you know, I think all that stuff prepares you. Uh, I think, you know, any anytime you you get an opportunity to to be in a place like Valdosta, it's going to make everything else a little bit different because mm -hmm. you're going to have that experience to go. All right, I got to compare it to that, right? Um, but this is a phenomenal, yeah, region. It's, I've looked at game like, you know, don't don't sleep on that that Ferry at Hardin Valley. Don't sleep mm -hmm. on that Beard and Hardin Valley game. I mean, some of those games are just as packed as some of those down in South Georgia. So uh, there's good football to be played in East Tennessee, good football in this Knoxville area, especially in this region. One of the guys you have with you today, one of the players, was a really good uh, defensive lineman last year, I believe. And Mike, maybe. Yep. Um, tell me about him and what you've seen out of him so far in practice. Fully invested. He's a selfless guy. Gives unbelievable effort. Um, he really stands for the things that we stand for as a program. 
Um, he he cares about his teammates and he blesses to him. He uh, kind of sets the standard for what we're looking for in the weight room. Strong kid um, that you know every day has gotten better and better and better. So looking for him to have a great senior season. Um, He's a, a big-time leader on and off the field, uh, just what he stands for and who he is as a man.